Hey guys, welcome to our brand new limited series called Welcome to My Neighborhood. Everyone's doing house tour, we cannot copy, so we're gonna do a neighborhood tour. This first neighborhood that we are going to is very, very special to me. My ex girlfriend lives here. I'm gonna ask her and her husband to show us around their hood. So I asked her to pack the house a bit because I'm gonna bring a camera crew over. I don't know whether she got pack or not. What ex girlfriend? <laughs> Welcome to my house. So my wife tricked me into buying this house when I was still I in didn't, army. oh my god. She kinda, she kinda did. I was still in NSA, I don't have a job. <laughs> she have a, That's a good time to buy a house. She has a starting job, like 1.8k kind of salary. Then yeah. she said, you wanna just try the BTO <laughs> process not? I'm so lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> so our combined income plus together times 3, huh? still can get a very good grant. So yeah. we got the maximum grant of that time. Yeah, so that allowed us to buy a house jobless. So why I really like this part of the house is because Pat and I get to work side by side. And then we got everything we want within reach. We even got like our own lights here. Surprisingly, right, Pongo is not that far as to all, what all my friends say. They always like, why well, you live at the tail end of Singapore? But actually, no, like, for me to go to work is like, okay, like 45 minutes to mm. get, okay, maybe half an hour to get to town. And everywhere is quite accessible. When, when we first moved here, they were talking about the congestion in Pongo. Uh, but that was because there was only one major artery that, that connected Pongo to yep. the rest of Singapore. But since then, they built a lot of smaller roads and mm. built another artery that connects Pongo to the east. Yep. So going out and back is very easy. Yeah. So anyway, this is not supposed to be a house tour, it's supposed to be a neighbourhood tour. So we're going to tell you what's in Pongo. So there's a lot to do here, like Waterway Point, shopping. Safra with like an e-mart, Pongo Settlement, Pongo Container, a driving range, like wow. for golf, that kind. Coney Island, Oasis Terrace, yes. Pongo Plaza, and a wet market. But now we're going to show you guys the places that we really like, the places really, that we yeah. hang out. Uh, some we just discovered, mm. but we've been going a few times ever since. Let's go! This is, in my opinion, the best coffee shop in Pongo. But I mean, it's one of my favorite coffee shops lah. My yeah. parents found this place. Yeah, ever since we come here like at least four times a week. Lunch, like, dinner. <laughs> for like one and a half months, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, no lah, but very nice. The white bee hoon here is very nice. He's it's, a fan of it. In my humble opinion, once again, best white bee hoon in Singapore. But I like the fish soup over here. Nah, also the fish nice. is very thick and juicy and with the meat and the soup is just damn good. These are our most romantic Thursday nights, is what mm -hmm. they look like. After dinner, we are a bit too full, then you know, you also don't want to go back and just sit on your couch after a long day of work, go back to the same place that you were working. We we'll just come here and sit down. The view here is really very nice and the night breeze is really quite cool So then you have people around, running around. But we'll just stop here lah. The moment over here, right, is quite memorable for me. I even wrote it down in my email. Why are you writing down in your email? I don't get I, it. I want to always Are you remember. sending to who? My sis. Oh. So hey. Monday morning, you're like, oh, I got email. <laughs> So if you are looking for some romantic spot, uh, this place really comes alive at night and during the weekends. This is Pongo Container Park. So every container is like one little restaurant. I like this place because sometimes you just want something fancy, right? Like over the weekend or at night. So you just come here in like it's Pongo's really romantic own place. with all the fairy lights here. I really like it. And then when it's night time, it's actually quite breezy. And then you have mm. a good view. We go to Fat Pool a lot. Yeah. Everything looks a little bit more interesting. They combine like a flavor with something you always wanted to try but you never try. Yeah. Then every time you come here, you order something different. So like a 5 minute walk from the container park, uh, we are at High Pin Prawning Place. Uh, I really like coming here. Love. It's, you can you can prawn here. Then before COVID, right, you can take the prawn that you catch, then you go and barbecue. salt and butter and barbecue and makan. But right now, basically because COVID, right, so you cannot like communal eat. Uh, what they do is they pack it up in ice boxes, then you can bring it back. I love prawning. He loves. She but don't really like. She I don't like really to like. eat the prawn. But you know, if the two of us come ourselves, right? He don't dare we to don't take dare out to. the bed. I also don't dare to take out the bed. Then who? So we always come with friends. Yeah. So we always need friends that <laughs> want to prod with us. Well. Yeah. 
Oh, we're not very good at it, but nope. it's very fun. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna prawn right now. Okay, I think you got ready. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait, wait Ned, can you talk me through this? No, no, I don't want to step, I don't want to step. The, the pincer cannot, cannot bite me from behind one, right? Like crocodile like that, right? Hello. <laughs> So right now we're here at Pongo Plaza Market. So on the weekends, if we manage to wake up early enough, we will come to the market. So I'm gonna go and ask Pat to go and buy her wonton skin and show you how she eat her wonton skin. Ah, ah, ah. What's the difference? I don't know. I like the square one. Okay, so now we bought our wonton skin. Pat's gonna show us how she eats wonton skin. You must buy from market. If not, it won't taste good. You must oh. buy from Pongo Market. Yeah! I, every time she buy, every time I give her shit. Then every time I will try one time, and I still think shit. This one you can eat as a snack, when you are bought at home. How she do her wonton is like this. She put the meat here, then she just like that. <laughs> and just now she was telling the uncle, uh, I want the square one, I don't want the round one. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> We are at Marina Country Club and we are going to go wakeboarding! We've mm. always known that you can wakeboard here, our friends do it, yeah. but this is our first time. So if you are not wakeboarding here, there's also a great Zi Cha restaurant that we like, yeah. it's called Tai Lo. There's also a prawning place, a bistro. There's, there's two childcare centres. Seafood restaurant. So the weather's gonna change, so let's go. I think it's about to rain. But uh, the instructor is instructor, very professional. The instructor is very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> huh? So I feel very safe. <laughs> you see, you float very You're well. You're so brave! Okay. I love you! Okay, hey, so now I need you to go into a state of mind that you just listen and react. Keep your weight on your heels, right foot in front, look to the right, look to the right, look to the right, keep looking to the right. Oh my god, I'm so proud! What the hell? Lean back, don't lean back. Your butt has to be over the board. Yes. Now your right leg where I cannot see that. Point the butt towards one o'clock. Very good, huh? My first crash, you almost made it. I'm so proud. But he's okay, he's really okay. So proud of you, oh my god. No? Keep your arms straight, look to your right. Look to your right, yeah, go to the right. Stay there, keep going to the right. All the way up to the right. It will give you balance, all right? Just stay there for a little while, make sure you've got equal weight on both your heels, okay? Okay, let go of the handle, I think you're... You're busted already. <laughs> okay, it's a lot more tiring than I expected to be honest. So I'm very proud of Pat. Hey. Oh, you know, Pat doesn't do any form of sports. I don't, but he's very good at giving. He's really very good at yeah, really Like, good. Every, when I was on the boat listening to her instructions from him, you don't half, half doesn't make sense <laughs> to me. Then when you're down there, everything's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but what, a lot more tiring than I thought. Yeah. Okay, la. Pongo best la, Pongo. I mean, if you don't like weight boarding, go woodland, I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so proud of you. It's a fantastic time to be living in Pongo. If you like what you watch, do give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thank bye you. Bye bye.